Hi, this is Ian, your SDMLS specialist. Let's talk about how to customize your search in Paragon. For mastery of this and all topics, please remember to play, pause, and practice. To start customizing your search, we need to first open up a search page. In this example, we'll use a residential search. Let's click on search and come straight down to the word residential and click on it. When your search opens up, of course you will see your default search and your default search criteria. What we're going to talk about today is what happens when you need to search with a field that you don't currently see on your page. From time to time this may occur. What you'll need to do is simply go to the top. We're going to click on customize. And when you do, we're going to see two options, fields and containers. The fields are each of these items that you see here. The container is what encapsulates all of these fields. You'll see here the first container is called primary criteria. As we scroll down, the second container is additional criteria. And then you'll see there are fields in this section as well. Whenever you go to customize, you will see both options. Today, we want to choose customize fields. When you click on customize fields, it will always open up to a box that looks like this. Pay attention to this option here on the right. As I mentioned before, you have many different containers on your page. If you wish to adjust the fields in the primary criteria, we need to make sure primary criteria is selected. If you'd like to adjust the fields in the additional criteria container, we would simply click here, click on additional criteria, and then adjust this section as needed. Today, we want to adjust the primary criteria, so I'm going to go ahead and click back. Notice how your selected fields reflect the option chosen here in your container box. So on the left side, you'll see the available fields. These are fields that you can choose to add over to the selected side. These are fields that you want to add over so you can use them in order to search. As we scroll through, we'll see a great number of choices. Let's decide that the family wants a half bath. They want to make sure there's a little washroom off of the kitchen. Let's go ahead and put a check mark in this box and then we're going to click add to add it over to the selected fields. If you scroll to the bottom you'll see that it's listed right here. Let's go ahead and put a check mark here on this box and then click move up. I'd like to do this until we get up into the bathroom section. Let's adjust our page and continue moving up until we get to baths total. Let's go ahead and click apply. In just a moment, you'll see our new field added baths half directly below baths total. The way this would work would be if you wanted to have at least four bathrooms in your home, we'd put a four here, but at least one of them must be a half bath. This would mean we're going to find three bathrooms, three full bathrooms, and one half bath in our search. Let's say we have a field on our page that we wish to remove. Customize fields works the same way. We're going to click on customize fields, but rather than search for a field on this side to add, we'll simply choose one of these fields to remove. 
The market area isn't often needed. Let's select it and click on remove. See how that goes away very quickly. Maybe we don't need that bat's half anymore. Let's go ahead and select it and remove that as well. When you're ready, simply click apply. And don't forget, you can change the order of these fields as well. If you wish to move the bedrooms up a bit higher, you can do so like this. If you wish to bring it down, you'll do it this way. When finished, go ahead and click apply. You'll see your changes immediately. This has been how to customize your search. For help on other topics, please visit us at sdmls.com. Click on the Paragon icon in the top left corner and then select training videos. This has been Ian, your SDMLS specialist, reminding you to play, pause, and practice.